On November 14, 2024, India's Defence Research and Development Organisation (DRDO) announced the successful completion of flight tests for the guided Panaka Multiple Launch Rocket System (MLRS) during its validation trials. These tests, conducted in three phases across various field firing ranges, were designed to assess the system's range, accuracy, consistency, and rate of fire for engaging multiple targets in salvo mode. With these tests now concluded successfully, the guided Panaka is set for mass production and deployment, marking a significant step forward in the Indian Army's artillery modernization efforts. The guided Panaka is a precision-enhanced version of the original Panaka MLRS, developed entirely within India. Its development involved collaboration between several defense agencies, including the Armament Research and Development Establishment, ARD, Research Center Imarat, RCI, Defense Research and Development Laboratory, DRDL, High Energy Materials Research Laboratory, HEMRL, and Proof and Experimental Establishment, PXC. The system's rockets are manufactured by Economic Explosives Limited, EL, and Munitions India Limited, MIL, while the launchers and command posts are produced by Tata Advanced Systems Limited, TSL, and Larson and Tubro, LNT. The guided Panaka extends the range of the original Panaka MLRS to approximately 75 kilometers, nearly doubling the reach of the earlier version. More importantly, it integrates precision targeting capabilities, enabling the system to engage high-value targets such as command centers or fortified positions with greater accuracy. This added precision makes the system ideal for operations that require minimizing collateral damage while delivering effective strikes. While the original Panaka system used unguided rockets with a 40km range, the guided Panaka offers a much more targeted approach. Equipped with advanced navigation and guidance systems, including GPS-slash-NAV-IC and inertial navigation, the guided Panaka is able to strike within 30 meters of its intended target. Additionally, the guided Panaka system employs specialized warheads designed to minimize collateral damage, contrasting with the original Panaka's payload options that include high explosive and submunition warheads. The development of the Panaka system has been an ongoing process since the 1980s, when the Indian Army sought a replacement for the aging Russian BM 21 Grad rocket system. The first version, the Panaka MKI, had a range of 37.5 kilometers. Over the years, successive models, such as the MK2, extended this range to 75 kilometers, and the latest guided Panaka variant has achieved a 90 kilometer range with trajectory correction systems. There are ongoing efforts to extend the system's range even further, with potential goals of reaching 120 and 300 kilometers. The system's components include six launcher vehicles per battery, each capable of launching 12 rockets, along with six loader replenishment vehicles, six additional replenishment vehicles, and two command post vehicles for fire control. A complete battery can fire 72 rockets in just 44 seconds, covering an area approximately 1,000 by 800 meters. This rapid deployment capability is bolstered by the system's mobility, with launchers mounted on high-mobility vehicles like Tatra trucks, and NBC, nuclear, biological, chemical protection and shoot and scoot features for enhanced operational flexibility. The Panaka system has already proven its effectiveness in combat, first deployed during the Cargo War in 1999, where it successfully targeted enemy positions. Over the years, the Indian Army has steadily inducted more Panaka regiments, with a combination of public and private sector entities sharing production responsibilities. Notably, private companies like Yentra India Limited, Bharat Earth Movers Limited, BML, TSL, and LNT have played key roles in boosting the production and modernization of the system. In recent years, extended range and guided variants have been developed. The MK2 model, which can reach a range of up to 75 kilometers, is already in service, and the ongoing trials for enhanced and guided versions aim to standardize the MK2 for broader deployment. The system is highly versatile, capable of launching various warheads including high-explosive fragmentation, cluster munitions, and anti-tank types, with sophisticated detonation mechanisms ranging from proximity fuses to contact fuses. The Indian Army currently operates four Panaka regiments, with more planned for the future. In 2020, the Army ordered six regiments of the MK2 variant, which are slated to replace older systems like the BM-21 Grad. There is also growing international interest in the Panaka system. Armenia recently procured four batteries and guided rockets, while other nations such as Indonesia, Nigeria, and France have expressed interest in evaluating the system for potential adoption into their own arsenals. With its extended range, precision targeting capabilities, 
and flexibility in deployment, the guided Panaka represents a significant advancement in the modernization of India's artillery forces. As the system prepares for full-scale production, it is poised to play a crucial role in strengthening the Indian Army's strategic capabilities while contributing to defense cooperation with partner nations. Thank you.